So here I'm trying to illustrate the importance of getting the visibility ordering correct. Uh, so we have two identical um, F16 models. The, the one on the bottom is done with a BSP tree and the ordering, it's transparent, um, unusually transparent. And the uh, it looks reasonable. It, not that we're used to seeing transparent F16s, but our brain can make good sense of, of this. The one on the top is with a B-Rep. Same amount of transparency, but because you don't have the ordering and you can't turn, you can't use your Z-Buffer uh, to resolve it because if you re use re your Z-Buffer, then you won't get the transparency. You'll get no transparency at all. So the one on top is just kind of garbled. <clears throat> You'll have things like your uh, this pod down here looks like it's above the wing just because it's not ordered correctly. So it's important to be able to have everything ordered and that comes essentially for free as part of the BSP tree. And when you merge two objects together, both represented by BSP trees, um, the result will be a new BSP tree for which you have a total visibility ordering. So transparency will work perfectly on the correct uh, result. So here we're showing something a little more complicated and realistic than what I've shown you before. So here we have a, a destroyer probably from World War II which has quite a bit of detail to it and alongside of it is an F-16 which of course didn't exist <laughs> concurrently when these things were in operation. Uh, but what I wanted to, to show is being able to do collision detection uh, between these objects. So you can see it bouncing. So we have two fairly complicated, highly detailed objects and we're getting exact collision detection from that. And we can turn on the transparent mode where we're actually getting penetration, interpenetration between <laughs> the, the two devices, which is not a realistic scenario per se, but just shows you the capability. And we're turning the entire uh, destroyer transparent and it looks reasonable because we have the visibility ordering that guarantees that everything is done correctly. Here we have a model of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, at least in the state that it was for many years. They recently did additions and we don't have those additions. Uh, but we can illustrate the idea of putting additions even though the additions we're going to show you uh, were not the ones that uh, were recently added. And we're going to use these additions to also illustrate another important uh, acceleration technique, which is a level of detail. So the idea is pretty simple. When you have a, a complex model, you have features at lots of different sizes. So you have some that are very large that span the entire object, and you have some that were much smaller and, and localized. So case of a building, you can have the facade of the building is quite large, but the doorknobs are quite small. So when you're far away, there's no point in processing the doorknobs. And, uh, but when you zoom in, you want to be able to see those doorknobs. So that's the idea of level of detail. So I'm going to zoom in and you'll see uh, the additions uh, fade in uh, gradually. So now the additions are being illustrated and we fade back out. Now the, the transition distance is something you can set and how long it fades over what distance. So this is an important capability to have for um, high performance geometry processing.